I saw Towson and then I was like, where's Towson at? And then my mom said that that's the school where your grandma graduated from. I guess what really made me choose this school was because like I got a good gut feeling from it. Um, I have family that lives close to here and I just really liked the atmosphere that this school had. All the memories that I have, like, you couldn't get it anywhere else. Like, there's a lot. I would say that the ones that I really cherish would be like the ones that you don't really think about that much, like the times that we just hang out in the locker room or back in our dorms, or, and just someone saying something that just makes you laugh so hard you fall out your seat. I think those are the ones that I'm definitely gonna remember the most. Just that I, I don't know, it's, when I first came here as a freshman, like I didn't think I was gonna make it through all these four years. So I would have to say that just the fact that I'm still here um, means a lot to me. I'm just thankful to have this experience. I chose Towson because um, actually one of my uh, mentors, like my sister, she came here and she told me it was a great school and it had a great diversity, so I ended up here. Um, it's going to be excitement, um, kind of sad too, just for it to be over, but um, I heard Sierra said she's going to go to the YMCA, so I'll go out there and ball out with her. Getting to meet some great girls and hopefully to have that friendship later on. I love them all. Um, we're all like sisters, so we have good times. We argue, but we all make up, so, yeah. A lot of what went into me choosing Towson was basically the MassCom uh, program because, you know, ever since I was younger, I knew what I wanted to do, so I knew that whatever school I did sign with, it had to have, like, a good mass communications program, so that's why I'm here. Off the court, um, the time I placed a sorority, which, I didn't, I had no idea I was going to do that before I got here and I had the pleasure of doing it with one of my teammates. So that's, that was really good for me because you know now we're sisters for life so it's friendships I can take along with me after college. Every season that I went through here um, has its own way of standing out. Just being able to deal with um, adversity along the way, um, different players, different coaches, all that kind of stuff. and just being able to st stick with my teammates, so. All the traveling we got to do and um, going to different places and playing games, uh, like I really like that. So. Yeah, it's, it's a big class and we've been here since freshman year, so it's like with that we've um, grown closer with all the things that we had to go through and we've really like come together as like a family since then. Like I want to be really excited because it's, it's crazy how fast the years have passed and um, just playing my last home game as a senior is like I'm really excited for it. Like I'm I'm excited to play. Um, I got like a last minute call. I was like a late signee, everybody else already signed. So I was the last one. So um, Coach Matthews called me and was like, hey we wanna get you up here on a visit, you know, why not? And um, I came really like two days later. I was here on an official visit on the weekend. I fell in love with the little city because everybody knows I'm a country girl. I'm from Tennessee, so I kind of like the little small city feel, so. And I just fell in love with Towson, I came here. Well, being a freshman and coming in and playing UConn your first year is always like, oh my God, it's UConn. And, you know, we had a chance to go in at the end of the game, and me and Sierra was just. Who was out there this year? I don't even know why she even complained to the referees that game, so I don't even know. But UConn was something that was just, I never forget UConn. So it was just like, ooh, we got thrown in the water. This is really what college is about. So it was a fun experience though as well. Um, my favorite part would be like my resources, I would say. Like everything is like so many resources at Towson, like from advisors, academics. Like I know a lot of people aren't, you know, blessed with those kind of opportunities. So like being here with academic staff and things like that is what really like, like you don't realize you have until you probably graduate and be off the court. Like man, I had all those resources, all the people behind me, and like they really make everything happen, like strength and conditioning and things like that. So that's always like a very big part of like supporting. So 
Like Junior Classroom, we've always been close since freshman year, so it's kind of like amazing for like that group to move together and like, you know, we're actually like family outside of this, so, you know, having that kind of click together with family is something that I'm blessed to have. Since I'm from Tennessee, my family doesn't get a chance, you know, to come watch me play a lot, so that's really big, my parents to come in and my brother, so it's been a while since my brothers had a chance to see me play because, you know, we don't play that close to Tennessee when we had like Georgia State, we'll play there, but I think just having like my family, because I'm a very family-oriented person, and like just having them there is just ultimate excitement, and just to be on the floor of my team, and it's just like the final, like the final countdown, like the final home game this year. So it's kind of it's gonna be unreal, but I'm really excited for it. Um, I would just have to say the family atmosphere. I didn't really have that at Tech as much, but I definitely feel that here with the coaches and the players. Coming in here, I felt a little isolated because they already established their, you know, togetherness and just me just coming in there. They definitely opened their arms to me after um, when I actually started playing, and I really appreciate that. The first time I like actually like noticed like, oh, Tori, you're kind of good. That was probably the Charleston game when we played at home last year. Getting my thousand points. I guess that, that means a lot to me. Into Hines Allen. Hines Allen spins, shoots. 1,000 for Hines Allen. Oh no. Graduating. Because I'm, oh, graduating. It's graduating. I can't wait. To, once I got that email, oh my gosh, I wanted to cry. Having coaches that actually like, care about you and, you know, want to see you do well out, like, after Towson is what motivates me, I guess. so big with my family coming to my games. Um, my parents, well my dad, he never really misses a game. He hasn't really missed a game since I've been playing sports. I was always a player who thought I was, you know, um, unstoppable. I didn't think an inj injury could do anything to me. But um, injuries are definitely all mental. Um, it, was, it was a hard injury, it was. And um, it happened my sophomore season and I was having a fairly decent sophomore year and like I said I just thought I was unstoppable and injury couldn't help me but I really think that it put me back into perspective and it made me appreciate the game that much more. I just love always going hard no matter if I'm if my shots aren't falling or if I make some mistakes defensively I just always make sure that when I am on the court I'm always giving my 100% 100% hustle if I could get the block shots if I could get the little steals um, crashing the boards as hard as I can I just I, I love playing like as hard as I can all the time and knowing that after every game that I I did give it my all. Um, I love my teammates so much. Um, our senior class, we, we've been so close since we all came in together. It's crazy to think that uh, four years have gone by, but it's like a family on and off the court with them and I can't even start to imagine what it's going to be like without them. Um, it's surreal. I honestly, I uh, keep thinking about it, but I, I don't even know how it's going to be. I'm sure I won't feel any of the emotions until it's happening, so it's definitely a surreal feeling.